this is a very bittersweet day for us. The parents of 12 year old Bridget Curtin speaking out a year and a half after tragedy struck their family. She tended to be everyone's best friend um, and she aspired to be everyone's best friend. She never had a bad word to say about anybody and always found the most positive things in anybody in any experience. Back in 2018, police say Bridget was stabbed to death by her twin brother. Her mother was also attacked by the young boy and survived. The scars still visible from that night. Immediately after the events of December 17th, 2018, many people in this wonderful community reached out to ask what they could do to support our family. I am inspired, touched, and um, moved by their strength. That support evident Friday morning as community members met at Bridget's favorite spot, Westmore Park. She adored caring for the animals and spending time at camp. The place her parents and the community have chosen to continue honoring her life by planning to build an outdoor classroom so more campers can enjoy. Together they broke ground on this new project that Bridget dreamed about. Christy told me a beautiful story about Bridget and this structure. She said that at the end of one camping season, she asked the girl, some of the girls what they would like to see, an outdoor classroom or something else. else. And she said, Bridget said, outdoor classroom, that's what we need the most. So this is really a fulfillment of her dream. And she would be, we're just sorry that she won't be able to see it herself and utilize it. But this will be a, a structure to gather, to get together, to have lunch, to get out of the, to get out of the weather, and really can be used all year round. We're hoping that they get the same experience that Bridget had and that her memory is infused here. And once this outdoor classroom is completed, it will be able to accommodate 75 campers. A ribbon cutting ceremony is expected in July. Reporting in West Hartford, Lisette Nunez, Fox 61 News. Just